We're on it again. Chop right at River right there. So look down. All right, we're on it again. This time from Las Vegas. This is the only airport that you can actually play slot machines, as we see behind me right here. I don't think anywhere in the world you can do that. Anyway, all right, I just checked and dropped my bags and everything. So I got about, about an hour to uh, boarding. My first flight, which is goes to LA. It's gonna take about an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna have uh, two hours of uh, layover in LA. Then I'm gonna take the long haul flight, which is 14 hours to Taipei, Taiwan. And then I have another two hours in there um, for layover. And then finally, I'll catch the uh, Bangkok flight from Taipei, which, gonna, which is gonna take about three hours if everything goes well. So hopefully I'm not gonna have any extra layovers or cancellations or anything because this travel is already over 24 hours. So, but as long as there's light, we got a chance. I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't get <laughs> much sleep last night either. I only slept about um, three hours. I didn't get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all not gonna get no sleep because of me. Yeah. And I worked this morning, which was from 4 a.m. to noon. So I'm pretty exhausted already, but we're here for adventure, right? So let's catch the flight and then uh, I'll catch you guys up on LA. Hopefully it's not gonna be any delay or anything. See you later. Alrighty, made it to LA. It was a short flight, but we taxied on the ground for like another half an hour. You know, I hate when that happens, so anyway. This is a smooth right. Now I'm walking to my gate. I still have two hours. It's gonna be 14 hours flight, so I'm not really looking forward to it, but we gotta do it. So, let's see. All right, guys. We made it to Taiwan, Taipei after 14 hours of flight. So we got one more flight to Bangkok, which is gonna be uh, three hours. Just so you know, um, I pay about $1,176 for this flight. And I'm flying in April, so I think it's a fair price. And here is my gate. Uh, we have about another hour to take off, so hopefully we make it safe, and uh, I'll continue back out. Alright, guys. So what do We made it to Bangkok after about 24 hours travel time. Just pick up my luggage from the 15. So let me show you around. So this white glass wall is over there. That's where the immigration is. So right after immigration, you have your carousels over here. You just gotta check the screen right there, right when you get out of it. And as you can see, there's a lot of booths to exchange money and buy uh, cell phone cards and stuff. Of course, we're gonna skip all that. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go down the bottom level Follow the link, uh, Metro Link uh, sign, and then that's where you get the, the best rates in the airport. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, this is where you're gonna end up right after the, the exit, uh, which is behind me right here. So you can't do any recording or anything. That's why I just turn on my camera and everything. So as soon as you get out, we're gonna see the sign. See, it says the, uh, the airport railing, it, it's the B floor. 
So that's where you can actually take the uh, the link, uh, metro or train, whatever you want to call it, to the central side of this town. Or you can just use that place to get some food and also do your money exchange. So this is, this is the best place to do it here in the airport. So of course you need some money if you didn't bring any. So what we're gonna do, just follow the sign uh, to the B level and do our money exchange and we're gonna get our SIM card. So I'm gonna check around, I'm gonna show you around, see how much they sell it for over here and then we check the downstairs so we can compare the prices. All right, this is pretty much the main area, passenger pickups and stuff, so let's See if we can see any price tag on the SIM cards and stuff. Uh, there you go, they have some rates on the screen. There you go, they sell it for... Uh, I'm gonna go for US dollars, so... They're selling it for 33.41. How much? 62,000. $581.43. That's actually pretty bad. Wait, I mean, I checked online. As of now, it should be either 36 or close to 36. So of course, you're not going to get the online rates. Duh. But 33, like $3 less per dollar. I mean, three Thai about less per, uh, per dollar. It's it's not a good deal. So it, I, I can already tell it's, uh, it's a lot more expensive here. So. Let's go follow the sign and then uh, we're going to do our money exchange on the uh, very bottom level of the airport. So we're going to take this escalator down here. It is super hot and humid as always. And you probably already know April is the hottest month here in Thailand. And besides that, uh, the burning season on the north starts around April 2. So every once in a while, the Bangkok city gets all the haze and smoke from the north because of the, uh, you know, the burning the crops and stuff. And I checked before I got here, uh, Bangkok and south side of it is fine, but north is like really bad. Really, really bad. Really, really bad. So if you're going to North Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai, you better check the uh, the weather, especially on the uh, the smoke and haze levels, because it can get really bad over there. So you don't want to get sick. Another thing, if you ever want to take a taxi, make sure uh, tell them that it, it turn on the meter. So you know when it gets busy, like after concerts and stuff, or around the airport, or after big events. They just uh, give you a fixed price or, you know, they raise their price and they never turn on the uh, meters. Uh, you know, this is how it is in most other places. I'm not blaming Bangkok or Thailand. Don't blame me, ho. And in a specific way, but uh, just, just to give you a heads up on that one, because that happened last year after, uh, you know, we went to S2O or music festival here around the same time. Um, and yeah, it was so crowded and nobody was willing to turn on the meter, no chance. Not a chance. So if you made a little research, you already heard about the, uh, what was the book, the, the brand name? Uh, rich, something with the rich, I'm gonna write down on the video. Uh, so that one I heard is one of the best one that give you know, the best rates. This is the link entrance. You can get your tokens to uh, take the train to wherever you want to go. So even before I start my travel, I already check on Google Maps that if I want to take the train, it'll be better or not. So if I take the train, uh, it gave me around like hour, hour and a half uh, travel time. But if I take the uh, the Grab or Bolt, which is like Uber over here, I'm gonna talk about that. It gives me like half an hour. So of course I'm not gonna you know spend an hour and a half, especially after 24 hours of travel. So that's why I'm not gonna take the train. Okay, happy rich, yes, it's not happy daddy or whatever. He may have been your father boy, but he wasn't your daddy. So yeah, we're just gonna take one of those lines and do our money exchange. So the rates might change depends on the denomination of the, the money that you're exchanging. So the hundreds and the fifties, like $50 bill, they, they give you better rate. I don't know why, like if you change like smaller, 
bills, uh, you get a little less, but let me see. There it is. Wow, that's pretty good. 36, 07. So at least three dollars difference if you take just two minutes walk down down here per dollar. So it's a big difference. So let me exchange my money and then uh, we continue. I just did my exchange. I changed five hundred dollars, and they gave me eighteen thousand with uh, eighteen thousand baht with some change. So another piece of advice: besides bringing all the large bills, fifties and hundreds, uh, better hundreds, your bills has to be in pristine condition. Like they don't want any marks or any like weird foldings on the corners or any missing parts or anything or if it's dirty if there's a has a stain on it they're not gonna take it and it's not only here anywhere in thailand anywhere so just go to your bank before you you know travel uh when you get your money cash make sure you get all hundreds plus it's all clean and pristine in good shape good condition so otherwise you're just gonna bring all that money back so Hey, hey, what's going on? Sawadee kap, sawadee mai. Good, good, good. Okay, so we got this one, Lusher, and we're gonna do the same thing. Can I get this one, please? I'll go with the same deal, which is 900 baht for 30 days of 80 gigabyte of internet and unlimited call. Which it's a limited call in Yeah. Oh, we gotta do the pictures now? Yes. Uh, I don't remember that. Yeah, that's <laughs> All right, we're getting ready for your Snapchat. So yeah, that's about it. Let me show you guys around so you know where exactly it is. So behind this uh, booth, that's where the uh, the Happy Reach and all that money exchange. And right there, you can see the green lines. Uh, let's go the. Uh, uh, the link metro or train to go elsewhere and that's this is where you come from when you take the escalator from the uh, second or third level when you got off so yep that's about it all right so we knocked down two of the three most important thing when you got here which is money exchange and the sim card so i did my exchange and they got a new sim card it was 900 baht for um 30 days of 80 gigabyte internet and unlimited text and call which i don't really need that one but so i got that one all settled so now let me show you uh, one more time so this is where you're gonna come from upstairs i can hold my bag so yeah so you either come from this side or this side, whichever, you know, you end up. So you just take these escalators or elevators, whether this side or that side, and then look for uh, uh, the express line or link line to go to center. So you can either uh, take the train, since you're here already, or um, do the grab or bolt app. Just like me right now. So let's go find a place to catch the bolt or grab or Uber, whatever you want to call it. And then now uh, we go from there. All right, now I'm on my, on my way to level one. That's where you're going to catch your Uber or grab or bolt ride. But on the ground level where we get our SIM cards and stuff, if you go to the very end of it, there's a foot cord and they have really good options and affordable options if you want to you know get a little bite before you head out or you know catch your flight pretty much everything on the ground level <laughs> if you want to you know be a budget friendly so just go to ground level get your sim card get your money exchange get your good food and that's it so we're back to level one uh so that's where we're gonna catch our uh uber or grab or bold whatever you want to call it i'm just gonna stop calling uh uber because it's not stop it get some help 
Oh god, what a heat! Oh my god! So I highly recommend change your clothes first thing when you got here. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. Oh god, it's it's unbearable. All right, so I'm on, on the first level, and uh, you can see all the taxis behind me. Uh, if you don't want to deal with all the grab and then downloading the app and stuff, you can grab one of those guys. Make sure to tell them to uh, hit the uh, meter. So. And so now I checked on Grab and Bolt app and the Grab on the same address Grab was saying uh, it's gonna cost me 600 but but uh, the Bolt was saying it's gonna only cost me between two to three hundred but it's like half of the price so of course I'm going for the Bolt He's just cheap And I believe their pickup area is where the uh, number four exit from the airport. There you go. I already see the grab pickup location right there, uh, right behind these taxis. I assume the bolt probably used the same area as the pickup location, but I'm not 100% sure. Excuse me, is there the bolt pickup? Bolt, not the grab? The same? Um, I don't know, man. Okay. Double tap. Well, I guess it's the same. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, probably the drivers, they use both apps anyway, because I used to drive Uber. You, sir, are officially an Uber driver. And I was driving Lyft at the same time for a little bit. So you can actually do both. Okay, so this is how the Bolt app look like it. And you see that's my address. That's where I'm going already. You can see all the available cars. So I'm just gonna click on that. And then see, it's like between two to 300 and wait is only three minutes. Uh, so I just click. Okay. Select. And it says two minutes away. I just confirm, and there it is. Something went wrong. Failure. All right, for some reason, uh, I couldn't get the bolt at work. Uh, I picked the location, I picked the pickup location, and all that. But somehow, uh, it gives me error. It says uh, something went wrong, and then try again later. I was doing that for like ten times, and then I now I just give up. I just replaced it through the grab app, and now it's on its way show you right here um, and the grab is gonna cost me about like 500 bucks which is uh, it's like $15 so it's not that bad a few moments later all right guys finally I just check into the hotel which is Hilton Grand House Oak right here in Skumbit area let me guys show you the, uh, the building real quick Looks Pretty cool over here. So before I trash the room, let's check it out. This is the Hilton Grande Asok. It's pretty basic. It's a little outdated, but it's not that bad. You know, for the price and location, this is not too bad. I'm pretty much happy with this because you're you're right in the middle of everything in Skumbit area and you have a nice room and a nice view so this is gonna be it for this episode we're gonna go have a breakfast and start our very first day here in Bangkok so I'll see you on the next video